Are you ready for some fun? Today, we're going to make a big pop-up Valentine card that looks like this. Now, in another video, I showed you how to make a Valentine card that looks like this with one Valentine sticking out and popping up. But today, I'm going to show you how you can make one with three Valentines popping up. So, I'm going to put this one away because we're going to just do this one today. Now, let me show you what we need. For this Valentine card, we need a full-size piece of paper, regular paper, probably white, and a full-size piece of construction paper or colored paper. Now, the construction paper is generally a little bit bigger than the regular paper, and that's why we like the two different kinds, so that we can have the color showing through when we put them together. So, this is very similar to what we did with the smaller card, if you saw that one and if you did that. But let me show you how we'll do it. All right, I'll put this a little bit aside so we have a little more room this time. Now, just like on the small one, we need to fold the paper so that the short ends come together. Now, once we have it folded, instead of just two lines, we need to have six lines because for each of the three pop out parts we need two lines. Let me show you an easy way to make the cuts that you need to on this kind of a pop-up card. We're going to take the paper and we're going to fold the short ends together so that we've got a nice fold right here. Okay now just like doing it on a small card. I'm going to turn it so that the fold is toward me. If we take a ruler and we make marks in the middle, kind of in the center of the paper, and we're going to make a line on each side of the ruler, okay? So those will be two of our cuts. Now we need to have two more cuts on each side, but if we do the ruler, it's a little bit too big. So you can use the ruler to make the lines, but instead of putting the ruler here and doing it on each side, I think what I'm gonna do is just come over a little bit and make another line about the same length as this and then come over and decide how wide I want this so that it doesn't come all the way to the edge, so that it doesn't come too far over. That's what I mean. And then I'm going to make it the same length, okay? So there's one, two, three, four. We need two more. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do two more lines in this space, but we don't want it to be too close to the edge here. So I'm going to come a little bit farther from this one here and make it about the same length and then come over and make another one about the same length. So that's very easy. And then you simply cut each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then remember we want to then we want to fold we want to keep this one down. This is the folded edge, remember, and we're going to bend this one, keep that one down, then keep this one down, but bend this one in the middle, keep that one down, then bend this one down, just like that, okay? And then, I want to make sure they're folded, and then we need to open it up, but we have to kind of bring these up a little bit, okay? Open it up very carefully, very carefully. And then we've got all of those folds. Now, the fold in the middle, we want to bring up, and we're going to pinch it the other way so that it stays. 
and then the fold on the side here we're going to bring up and pinch it this way so it stays and this one over here bring up and pinch it so it stays now this is the inside right here and we're going to keep these in here and we're going to fold it again oh it wants to pop out so we got to make sure it stays got to make sure these stay in as we fold this down if they don't stay in you got to push them in okay once you know they're in then we're going to press down again just like this so we lift it up and then it looks like a chair or three chairs okay and that's the inside of the card and then we fold our construction paper And then we're going to glue these in just like that. Okay, to glue it, we're going to take only one half at a time of the paper that is white that we made the cuts. And we're going to use the glue stick to glue around just this side, okay? There we go. Get it in here. Get it in here. And make sure that it's all the glue everywhere we want it, especially around the edges. And then we can put it so that actually I'm going to turn it over so the part with the glue is down and I want it to match up right against the, the fold here and make sure that we can see the pink on the edges all the way around, okay? And then we push it down, make sure it's right up here at the edge. Okay, and then we push it down, okay? And then we can put the glue on this side as well. All right. Okay, when you have enough glue and all the glue that you want, because it's stuck down here on the other side, we can push this top over. And press it down and then when we open it up do you see how it looks like the chairs and it's glued down on all the sides and that's how we do the three pop-up places and then you can put your hearts and things and I'll show you how to do this as well so but this is how we fold it and make it so that we can decorate the inside okay now I've just made it so I have my hearts and my card ready to go and remember you can use all different sizes and colors of hearts but we're going to do it just with the red and the pink for this one so what we do is we decide what hearts we want on here now the thing is just like on the smaller card when we put it put a heart here it's got to not be any bigger than the edge and there's no problem here. Now, if I were to put this one here, oh, that would that could work too, but it would be too wide here. So it's probably better to do one that's not too wide. So I'm going to I'm going to put some glue on this. Actually, the best way to do it is just to put a little glue right on this bottom part of the folded part because we don't want the heart to get stuck on the top part, okay? So once you have that, you just glue it so that it just sticks on like that, okay? And that should work. And then, then I think what we want to, oh, again, put it on here first. I think that's the best way. That way we don't accidentally make it too high. Um, the glue too high. You could do it either way, 
Okay, that works. All right, but if I put a little bit of glue here, we'll put the other heart here. Okay, maybe I'll turn it this way. All right, now I'm going to put a heart, a pink heart in the middle here. And I'm going to do a pink heart in the middle here. Okay, and then I'm going to put a pink heart up here, kind of in between these, and another pink heart up here. So I have two hearts, all right? And I think what I will do is put a heart down here in this corner, and another red heart in this corner and a pink heart right in the middle. Okay, so now we've got the two hearts up here, we've got the three little hearts there, and remember you could decorate it however you want. Now, right here, this is where I'm going to put this heart here. You could decorate the outside however you want. but I'm gonna put a heart just like the other one, okay? So now it's your turn to make a pop-up Valentine with three different pop-up places for the Valentines and see what you can create. And we'll have some more fun next time. Bye!